four million that we dispersed in the city of Harare, come out of the devolution funds and other intercapital transfers. The monies are split as follows. The, uh, the, there's there's Morton Jeffrey uh, aspect, but coming to the, the billing system, basically we've allocated 4.7 million for for the billing system for the installation of 8,000 domestic uh, meters, uh, but also there's uh, about uh, 10.4 million uh, for the repair of best pipes. So there's a billing system and then the pipes for, for, for transmitting water in the first place. But uh, the, there's a whole breakdown as to how these funds ought to be used. Uh, for what is what I'm going to read through, so it's very clear. So there are three there are four categories. It's water production, water distribution, wastewater collection, and sewer treatment. So let me start with water production. For water production, there are two subcategories. Rehabilitation of the motor Jeffrey filters, rehabilitation of motor Jeffrey uh, uh, clarifiers. For the filters is 296,000, and then for the clarifiers is 495,000. And we expect these, this rehabilitation to be done within three months. There's even a timetable for that. Then on water distribution, there, there, there is the, I talked about the, the 8,000 uh, domestic meters and then the best pipes. So the meters, we expect these to be installed within four months. The, we have allocated 4.7 million. So the repair of best pipes, that should be done again uh, uh, within that period. That's where we have allocated the 10.4 million. Coming to the third category of, of water waste uh, collection, uh, here they are, they are blending of the eight kilometer sewer uh, uh, mains in Glenville <coughs> and Budiril. This should be done within six months. That's the timetable that we've allocated. And we've allocated 890,000. Then for the uh, uh, um, sewer uh, uh, treatment, uh, this is the repair of the uh, uh, feral sewage wax. Should be done within three months. We've allocated 300,000, and for the repair of the uh, cro uh, uh, cobra um, sewage wax to be done within two months, 220,000. Uh, so, I've, of course, I've gone beyond the original question, but I just want you to be clear that's how we have we thought about distributing those resources and then and the timetabling for delivery of these uh, objectives as well. Uh, I think. For the chemicals, where we've committed 2.2 million US dollars. For the chemicals, because these are important, these will go directly to the companies that deal with the, the chemicals, such as Camplex, so that we cut through the bureaucracy, so it doesn't go through you know, from, from the government to the city council, then eventually to the sources of chemicals. We'll cut through that and support an interest in the Camplex, who then make sure that the chemicals are procured and delivered. So it's 2.2 million US dollars, and it's going to be supplied as US dollars. Kunzu Dam, did you deal with that? Yes, uh, Minister Perens did. Uh, uh, can, uh, I want to get something. Yeah. You see, mm -hmm. with, this is now the development facilities for, for the raw water investment. So for that, there's no escaping this. We, it has to be PPP, public private partnerships, some kind of uh, build on operative transfer arrangement. That's the only way we can, we can afford to, to do this. So we've received a few proposals already. Uh, we're, we're working with the, we, uh, this is really a, a treasury, Minister of Water, uh, Lands and Agriculture, and then um, uh, the, um, uh, what do you call it, the Provincial uh, um, uh, Ministry, and uh, Chidao, and the City Council. We've received proposals already for the financing of the, of, of Kunzi Dam, and also Muda, and also the, what's the third, third one? Yatsima. We've raised proposals for that. And we think really that the best way is through this PPP arrangement where we concession out the construction of these, of these dams and, uh, and then we, 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 yeah, we, we are able to recoup whatever they invested and then they hand those over back to the government after the 25 or 30 years, depending on the length of the, of the concession. The government should pay its water bills. Uh, so it will pay its water bills. And it's good that this issue has really come to the fore in the manner that it did because everyone has to pay up Everyone has to be up to date, and there should be a billing system. Uh, uh, we want to make sure that we deal with this water issue uh, uh, in a very comprehensive way. Uh, while I have the mic, uh, Chair, let me hasten to add that our strategy 
for dealing with water and sewage infrastructure not start and stop with Harare. It is countrywide. It is countrywide. So, so we've covered all that. I don't know if we received that additional information in terms of what we're doing in the other cities, in Blawayo, in, uh, in Montare, uh, uh, everywhere. The only city that has not been covered so far is Kwekwe, uh, but because there are some complexities in Kwekwe that we're dealing with, they will also receive their allocation for dealing with the water and, uh, and, uh, and sanitation issue. So for example, uh, so Bulamayo, we've allocated 18.3 million. For Chitunguiza, is 6.4 million. For, for uh, uh, Bindura municipality, uh, it's 5.6 million. Gweru city, 7 million uh, flat. Notum, uh, a little bit more. Notum is 450,000. Chinoy, 4.8 million. Shirubi, 3.6 million. Epworth, 3.8 million. Kadoma, 2.7 million. Marondera, 6.6 .6 million. Rusape uh, is at uh, 612,000. Rua, 248,000. Chipinge is at uh, 695,000. Uh, Mvurui, 1.5 uh, uh, million. Plum tree, 1.8 uh, million. Mutare is at 8.9 million. And the total for all that is about 70. 2.3 million. That will be released for that city. And I said, what's outstanding is Kwekwe, and we'll be uh, 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 dealing with that in the, in the not so distant uh, future. Thank you. Poor agricultural season. I don't know where you're getting that from. Uh, and this, uh, uh, I would love my colleague, uh, Mr. Agriculture. I thought so this year was a better season. So we're all gearing up for a better season, and the, the, uh, we want to make sure that uh, the financial model is. First of all, sustainable. Number two, it is transparent. Yes. Right? But also, it's accessible. Right? So some principles around the human. So, so how do we ensure transparency? In the first place, in the supplemental budget, the command agriculture budget is in the budget. That's how we first achieve. And so it has to be uh, you know, uh, appropriated through normal provincial processes. And yeah, that's how it works. So it's, it's all on the top table. It, it's very transparent. And then, uh, but also the banks that are involved in the program, uh, whether it's through by welfare guarantee or dry liquidity support, they, they have their auditors, their audit accounts, which will be very, very clear as to how common agriculture was financed through, through, through the banks and how any yeah, guarantees from banks on liquidity was utilized. So, so there's transparency uh, uh, all, all the way. In terms of accessibility, because we have a multiple uh, uh, number of banks involved, there are so many entry points in terms of access uh, uh, by farmers. So, so that again is well supported by the program. But like, as I said, God forbid, uh, uh, we expect a better season than the United States. So, yeah. Right. Now, um, how much government owes? I don't have the exact figure, but government owes. <laughs> And when I say that we must scale bills, everyone must scale their bills. We we'll certainly do that. Did the city council receive money for chemicals? We we are giving the money for chemicals to Capex to supply the chemicals. So the city council will receive chemicals, and that's that's the objective. Now on um, the parliamentary portfolio. Yes, the command. It is similar to my my answer uh, that I gave to you. This question um, that how do we ensure transparency because that has been the beef really in terms of the, uh, the of park. And fair enough, if the, the thing was to, it was opaque, it was opaque. Now we've opened it up at uh, the risk of repeating. It's on the table, it's in the budget. Those in park will, inter will interrogate it because it's in the budget. And besides, they, they are the ones who allocated the resources that I. Uh, allocated in supplemental. So this time is different. So very transparent. And uh, as I say, working with the banks will ensure fairer transparency, uh, but also better management in terms of the credit standing of the borrowers. That's what banks do. Their job is manage, you know, uh, credit. So they, they know who should be getting these loans. Who should? Who has a track record? Who should? So I'm confident that there will be better transparency uh, this time around. And that's what we're trying to deal with, apart from sustainability in terms of the financing model.